Justo Jaime Offside. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. <laughs> A detective Abe Hernandez. Ooh, I like anybody with the name this, Abe. I know, right? He seems like an honest guy. He's an able, yeah, as well. So this woman arrested for defecating on boss's desk after winning the lottery. Uh, now listen, that could be a thing, uh, right? Yeah. Yep. Forty year old forty year one year old woman had the winning lottery ticket for worth over three million dollars on Friday night, but showed up to work on Monday to deliver one last package. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. She worked at a courier company, so the package thing works. No there. way. Oh yes. The where manager said I knew um where what Where'd she win that three million? Ooh. Ooh, now now you're asking too many questions. Whose now computer you're wanting is that, to by the way? The audience wants to know whose computer that is. <laughs> that's, Everybody in the video that's shows our like, a computer? That's our producers. Uh, the state's not important, Jabes. I don't want to no, put so really much pressure isn't. on you. No, it really isn't. I mean, who cares, right? Yeah, I just, I wondered. For, it, it seems like an Alabama thing, but. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah, the Valley Report, anyways. Yeah. New York. No, that's shocking. That's why I asked. That, I would not expect someone in New Sorry, York to do yeah, that. Yeah, no, me neither. No, that, now that one's At surprising. At the courier company in New York, yeah, and the manager said, I knew something was wrong because I came back from lunch and the door to my office was closed. And she, he walked in, blammo, she's on the desk, crouched down, taking a shit. So he walks in on her mid-shit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. It was worth it, the woman said on arrest. <laughs> on Friday, when I realized I hit the lotto, I knew this would be the first thing I would do. <laughs> this woman's I actually a ev- hero. Can I we- hit up every Mexican food truck and save my dumps all weekend. Is that what I- she said? Mm-hmm. I was shuffling around like a death row inmate, trying not to explode. Now listen. There is no way this is a real story. Is this real? <laughs> Apparently it is. Apparently Come it on. Is. I'm not is seeing there a name? Anything. Is there a name for her? Uh, no. I, I'll, I'll look this story up because you're using, watching you use the computer is like. Who cares if it's real, you know? I, it's fun. Um, no, because if it is, here's why I say this. If it is, this will be the first time in Woman the history arrested. of our show. Uh-huh. That I will also name Revolutionary Figure of the Week. It'll be a crime corner and Revolutionary Figure of the Week. Because that would be amazing. Okay. Woman. I'm just going to type in woman takes Woman arrested for defecating on bosses. After Lotto. Win. The Valley Report. Um, Snopes. That's a thing, right? Snopes what? Snopes is a site. That's a relatively. Yeah. Oh do you, boy! What do we got? I don't know. I don't know if this is real, James. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find a, a reputable source on this one. Okay. I got a mugshot, but no name. Yeah, me too. In New York, see, here's the thing: if it was Florida, you could get a name because of the Sunshine Law or whatever. Uh huh. It is. Hoax alert. Alert, but that, we don't have a confirmation of that. Um, boy, man. I, I, they've got a fucking picture of her. I know. So listen, here's the thing. You may not have the, the name because uh, it's in New York and they have to keep things so I'm like gonna, that sealed. I, I, all right. Here's the thing. We'll I'm just gonna... we'll let it go for now, and I'm sure I'll get messages about the hoax of it, right? But for now, we're going to believe that it's true because we need that today. We do need this today. <laughs> what are you? Come on. Because Okay. Looking? So in this article, she has a very, very serious face. Alec, maybe we can you paste this into the, the show? Okay. 
Um, Because that way, again, if you're watching the video show. Jamie. um, Time code this. So put her picture. Yeah, we'll put put her picture in this and uh, uh, we'll cut this into the video so people at home can see this and then judge for themselves. Here's why I say to do this, right? And, And again, subscribe on YouTube to watch this. Ross Patterson Revolution Podcast. The picture that they're showing is a serious faced mugshot sure. of a white lady mm-hmm. who looks totally fucking normal. Um, it says she's 41 years old. Uh huh. She looks like she's 41 years old. Sure. This makes sense. Sure. If you're going to write a fake article and use somebody else's head, couldn't you get sued for that? Is what I wonder, unless she works for that company and was just like, hey, this is a really funny thing. So. I'm going to read the rest of this and because you, you've kept this part out. Now, listen, you know I don't love to go into detail about poop. Yeah, but I do. Poop so I'm going to go there. It's not my thing. No, but I'm going to let the people know. But this made me feel like it might be a hoax because of this kind of detail. But go ahead. I slowly opened the door to discover the woman with her pants around her ankles hunched over my desk like a hippopotamus slash cheetah dropping a massive poo on my desk. She shot her head towards me and locked eyes. I was frozen in shock and fear. In my peripheral vision, I saw a huge mud monkey. Mm -mm. See that kind of stuff? Like I do not do that. Like that's where I shut down. I have not heard the term Mm. shit be called a mud monkey. Mm. Um, in my peri- my peripheral vision, I saw a huge mud monkey yep. sliming out of her butt like a Play-Doh fun factory. Okay. And so then when I, I didn't read that only because <laughs> w- who has that kind of description on a fucking police report or wherever it may be. So, you know, well, I don't interviewing know. interviewing the boss. So the woman said it was worth it. On Friday, when I realized I'd hit the lotto, I knew yeah, this I would be the, the first thing I would do. I hit up every Mexican food truck and saved my dumps all weekend. I was shuffling around like a death row inmate trying not to explode. I've been putting up with that guy's shit for years. It's time he put up with some of mine, is what she said. So then now I go like, uh, that you don't get that kind of description on a real story. So look. Who knows? I can't find whether it is or isn't. So I'm gonna pre- I'm gonna go with the written word oh, in front of me. I, and and it, look, it's the woman's mugshot that sells me on this. I don't know if this is true. This is on a bunch of other sites, including Eight Shit, but I don't know. Look, Eight Shit has never done me wrong. That dude. is a reputable source. 